Hello all. In this video, we will see recognition of tokens. In the last video, we have seen specification of tokens using regular expression. Recognition of tokens will be done using finite automata. We will be using finite automaton to recognize tokens. That is, uh, once it reaches the final state of the finite automata, the token is said to be recognized, otherwise not. I will uh, give the start with this simplest of the examples first. We will recognize, uh, we will see how we can recognize greater than or equal to using a finite automata. See, to recognize greater than or equal to definitely uh, in the start state or zeroth state, the first thing that you should encounter is greater than, isn't it? That is greater than should be encountered first. Next, uh, as we have seen in input buffering, the lexical analyzer will wait or read one more character to see whether the next character is an equal to. Otherwise, if it is equal to, it can return greater than or equal to. Otherwise, it will be written simply greater than. So, it will just read one more character extra and it will check whether it is greater than or equal to. If that is greater than or equal to, we are moving to the final state of the Automaton marked by double circles and we will return the token name as relo and the operator identified the value of the token is greater than or equal to. See in the case if it is not equal to but something other than this the I mean uh, for example it might be some a greater than b and that should be some the next character will be some b. In this case, we know that greater than is the token and it is not greater than or equal to. In that case, we will be returning or we will be reaching a final state 3 and we will call this final state as retract state marked by a star at the uh, near the state and it means that we have to move to the previous state back because we have just seen greater than and the next symbol that we have read is something other than equal to so we can't return greater than or equal to but we should be simply returning relo comma greater than so this is how we do this i repeat the star means that we have to retract that is we have read uh, a symbol that we are not expecting to read by reading uh, the next symbol after greater than expecting an equal to but that was not equal to so we have to simply return greater than and the next symbol that we have read extra should be returning back should be written back so that was an example to begin with now we will see finite automaton for relational operators so transition diagram for relational operators to uh, recognize relational operators see in the first step uh, first stage at the starting state of we are seeing a greater than and uh, borrowing from the previous example we are seeing greater than we will just the compiler the lexical analyzer will simply check whether the next character is equal to if it is equal to that will go to the final state returning relational operator comma greater than or equal to if it is something other than equal to that should be that is anything other than equal to that will go to the final state but a retracting state because it has read an extra character which is which it was not expecting so we will be returning we will be moving back to state 2 and we will return simply greater than reload comma greater than and again same is the case with less than of it is reading less than it will go one step ahead or read one character extra to check whether it is equal to of it is equal to it will be returning uh, return relo comma less than or equal to of it is anything other than the is equal to it just read an extra character that it was not expecting so we will move to a, go to a retract phase and return simply less than and now if it is reading equal to it will just check whether the next character also is an equal to of yes it will be returning 
प्रिलोकोमा इक्वल टू अपटस नॉट इक्वल टू एट द फर्स्ट स्टेट इट विल इट विल गो वन मोर स्टेट अहेड टू चेक वेदर द नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर इज इक्वल टू इन दैट केस इट विल बी रिटर्निंग दैट विल बी फाइनल स्टेट इट विल बी रिटर्निंग प्रिलोकोमा नॉट इक्वल टू so this is the transition diagram for relational operator the state one it can encounter greater than less than equal to sign or not equal to sign in this cases it will further move ahead see if at uh, in between of uh, it is not getting a simple that it is expecting to get uh, that means this is not the automaton for that particular uh, input we should try with the other automaton we will have several automaton for a lexical analyzer to detect relational operator there will be an automaton to identify identifiers there will be another automaton for numeric constants there will be an automaton for delimiters like blanks spaces tabs etc there will be another automaton so if this automaton doesn't work for a particular simple there is no problem we will go to the starting state of the next automaton for example uh, this is the automaton for relational operator we will see the automata for identifiers expecting is a letter isn't it so that should be a letter now uh, you know that an identifier can be even 32 bit long or even more than that in some programming languages so it can be you can have any number of letters or digits followed by it letters or digits followed by it. this is a loop that means that any number of letters and digits can happen and now uh, if we are getting something else other than letters and digits that means that that is not part of this identifier we should go to a final state but we will retract because we have read one extra character that is not part of an identifier for example uh, if the identifier is uh, b 1 2 3 uh, c star so in this case b is a letter so uh, we reach this state one now uh, one as a digit we can uh, stay at state 1 2 as a digit we can stay at state 1 3 as a digit we can stay at state 1 now c as a letter we can stay at state 1 itself now we are reading something other than this star which is not part of this identifier name we will move on to final state and we'll be returning this identifier we'll be returning uh, the identifier the attribute and its value okay so uh, either i in um this uh, this checking us keep on continuing till we get a character which is not part of the identifier because then only the lexical analyzer uh, can decide the end of the identifier name so when we read something other than that we can identify uh, we can understand that this is the end of the identifier name and next character is the beginning of next token that is why we are retracting back to state one so that this star can be treated as the next token next is uh, automaton for numeric constants see in the previous video we have seen the regular expression for number as plus or minus which is quite optional now uh, digit plus because at least one digit can, should be the more digits are fine now decimal places can happen it may or may not happen that is quite optional There should be at least one decimal digit. Any number in the one digit, one digit after the decimal point, any number of digits is fine. Again, uh, there can be uh, there can be exponentiation. That is power of some numbers. So again, this plus or minus is optional, and there should be at least one digit following this e of there is some raised to, and this whole thing is exponential optional. So we will draw the automaton for that. So we are starting from state zero. Yeah. Now, now the next thing is plus or minus, and that is quite optional. So this is the start state. The next state is one. So if it is plus or minus, 
uh, we can move on to the state our digit again that is if there is sorry if there is plus or di, plus or minus plus or minus we can go to the next state and in the next state uh, we are expecting a digit and uh, if there are more digits that is perfectly fine we can have any number of digits so coming back even if there are no plus or minus that is pretty fine we can directly move to the state that is plus or minus is quite optional even if you don't have plus or minus you can skip the state and go to state 2 now uh, again you may have decimal points now 3 and if there are decimal points you should definitely have digit following it and you can have any number of digits which is pretty fine now you can have exponentiation see uh, in this state if you simply have uh, that is plus minus or digits again uh, that is when simply digit is fine now uh, if you simply have uh, digits and any number of digits are fine now uh, if you have e then you should have uh, you may have plus or minus if you even if you don't have plus or minus that is pretty fine so after that you should have a digit any number of digits is pretty fine so you can add more number of digits to it now even if you are not having any plus or minus you can directly reach the state 7 and in this state uh, see now uh, plus or minus see plus or minus optional that is the skipping arrow then digit plus then dot dot is again optional if you are having exponentiation you can directly move to this they having exponentiation you can directly move to this without this dot and all okay now uh, now uh, after exponentiation plus or minus is quite optional that is why skipping this and we are skipping this through this arrow then digit after plus e there should be at least one digit now any number of digits is fine see if the state if you are getting anything other than this uh, that is fine that means that that is the end of your you must end of the constant so you can put if there is anything other than this you can go to states uh, 7 8 which will be a retracting phase because we have read some other character which is part of the next token not part of the numeric constant so you can return num comma value here so this is a retracting phase now dot digit again here if you are getting anything uh, even if you don't have an exponentiation to it uh, that is fine so you are you will reach uh, this final state 9 and again it's a retracting phase because you have read something other than the number so that should be the beginning of next phase in this phase also if you are reading something other than digit you should go to you can reach the final state again that is a retracting state because you have read something other than uh, the letters or digits so this is how it work that is a plus or minus digit that is fine if you have dot just go ahead if you have e just go ahead uh, otherwise you can go to the final state which will be the retracting state um, then e is optional uh, you can completely skip this if you want you can just go to the final state again if you have e you should have uh, some digits following that at the end if you are getting anything other than the digits you can just go to the final state that again will be a retracting state because you have read something other than digit meaning that may be the beginning of the next token now we will see the finite automata for uh, delimiters see a delimiter is actually the delimiter is actually the regular expression for uh, what um, let I me mean, uh, tab space new line everything can be uh, treated as a new delimiter 
new line and the aggregation of delimiters is known as the white space in the program. So white space is delimiter plus. So when you draw the automata for this uh, for white space or for, for it's for white space for white space it will be the state zero. Now uh, you can have any delimiter. Now after that uh, you may have more delimiters. Delimiters. If you are seeing anything other than that, uh, you will go to a final state and a retract. That will be a retracting phase. See, in this case, this is very important. The lexical analyzer will not return anything. Meaning that this is how the lexical analyzer avoid white spaces. It won't return anything. That is, whenever a delimiter appears, the lexical analyzer just neglect it, just ignore it. This is how it recognizes white spaces. So, recognition of tokens is using finite state automata. Whenever reach finite state, uh, that thing is said to be formed. When uh, it is for identifier, an identifier is said to be formed.